hello, hello. Happy Friday. This is Joni with Weathered Wings um, for Friday Fab Finds, okay? Um, when you hop on, say hello. Let me know what you're doing on this fine, fine Friday. Okay, I'm going to try to find myself. I'm going to send out. Now, look, I'm sending out a text notification. So, if you have... Um, if you want to be notified when I go live, if you would just text this number right here, and then you won't miss anything. Okay, I'm going to copy the link. I'm going to send that over. I always think I'm saying something wrong when I do that. But anyway, happy, happy day, y'all. I'm so excited. Okay, I got something fun to show you. Let me, um, again, find myself. Where, where am I? Um, if you will. Okay. All right. Now I've already cut up this paper. So I found a paper. Well, actually my friend Jesse found this paper. It's a, um, Roy cycle paper full of pumpkins. It's curated by Lexi Grinzer, who you may know as she does a lot of the watercolor stencils, not stencils, transfers for IOD. And I say a lot, but she's done several, like the Whispering Willow, the Christmas one last year. And so this is her paper, and it's carried by Roy Cycled. And my friend Tammy carries all of Roy Cycled, so I'll put her link in here when I'm finished. Now, you see I've already cut some out, but look at these pumpkins, y'all. Look at that one. Isn't that beautiful? I love, love, love these colors. I love this one, this big green and yellow one. Okay, and then it has a bunch of leaves and little and smaller pumpkins as well. These right here. So, it had a blue one. And the reason I cut out the blue one is because I want to add some glass to it. I haven't decoupaged in a while. I hope I remember how to do it. <laughs> but I wanted to add some glass, and this, I had better colors with this than anything else, actually. That's why. But, so, I've cut it out. It's really pretty. So, it's got these blues and different shades of blues. I cut out some leaves. So, this is what I'm thinking. Oh, hey, Nancy, you've been busy. Busy, busy. I've been busy, too. Hey, Meg. Hey, baby, baby, baby. Um, Doris is here. Hey, Joycey. Shannon, good to see you, girl. Hey, Joy. Joy from Canada. Jesse, Jesse. Yes, I just mentioned you. Um, Jesse is the one that uh, showed me this paper. I was like, where is that? <laughs> Why have I not ever seen that? Um, but anyway, I don't decoupage a lot, but I had to have this paper. So, all right, so I've just got a board here. I just painted over it, actually. It's one of those um, kind of a, it's for paint boards. It's a canvas, but it's a little bit harder than your normal canvas. So here's what I'm thinking. So before, I'm not gonna be able to do the glass today because, uh, you know, I'm gonna have to decoupage this on. It's gonna dry a little while. So I'll come back on maybe tomorrow. Um, but, so I'm just gonna lay out a few pieces it didn't have anything else that was really the same colors except for this acorn. And there's a leaf. Um, but you can just lay them out. But, okay, so here's some glass that I have. And this barely fit on here, as you can see. Barely fit. So this is the closest glass. I think it looks pretty good with it. But as I get it um, decoupaged on, I'm gonna add glass all around it. Um, I've got, and I will add more, but I'm just gonna give you a visual real quick. And then I've got the silver that I may um, put on the stem up here. I thought I had a gray, but it's more black, but this is silver. Um, and this is reflective glass. That's why it has the um, that real silvery, shiny part on one side and then the silver. 
just the glassy look on that side. Same with these. Um, and then I have some gold that I thought would be pretty on some of the um, leaves. This gold, right here, this is all the gold I have left. I'm gonna have to get some more of this. I made so many gold Christmas trees. Um, see, this would be really pretty, some on the leaves. But I don't know, I don't know yet. I hadn't even thought that far. So let's just um, break that off and get to decoupage. I'm using DIY's liquid patina. Um, hey, Dom, how goes it? Lynn from Oklahoma. Hey, Karen. Hey, Kay. Colleen is here. Thank you, ladies, for popping on. All right, so again, I'm using liquid patina. It's DIYs. Um, you know, I use this for a lot of stuff. You can use it for top coats or a Mod Podge medium. So actually, I'm just going to put, um, do it, is that too big? No. Actually, I'm going to put a little bit on the back of the paper. Like I said, I haven't done this for a while. This is when I wish y'all could talk to me and say, no, do this first. <laughs> but I'm just winging it. All right. I'm not doing all of it. I'm just going to. Just a little. These I'm not going to worry about. All right. So, I did paint this white. Oh, I wanted to do something first. Hold on, hold on. Mm. All right, so I've got some Hay Sailor here as well. And I wanted to kind of go around the edges. Well, let me find something to pour this out on real quick. All right, this will work. If it'll pour out, my paint is uh, thickening up. I'm just getting ahead of myself. Actually, this is kind of good. I kind of like it pasty like this. And then, This little wheel down in this this thing where I can't you know I have to pour everything out to get it. I just you know <laughs> sometimes I worry about myself. <laughs> um I do have clear. I do. Hey Ari, okay. Um hey Suzanne, I do have clear. Hey Linda, yay! I'm glad you could join us. Yeah, I, I always use the clear if I just paint a color, but you're right, it'll show through that. I may just um, kind of combine them. I meant to paint this blue I had before, but I just decided, well, I'll just do this instead. Because the, the paper, you know, is kind of, um, you know, it's a watercolor, so I don't want it to look, like, really perfect. Again, this is my little wooden wheel from the Dollar Tree, but you could... You know, just use your popsicle stick or your finger for that matter. Draw that. 
There goes my acorn. is not as dry as I need it to be. So I'm gonna kind of do it lightly. But this is also a top coat. So for instance, if you're uh, if you're new to DIY products and you know the, the polycrylic that she has is um, it's called Big Top and it has a pretty good sh high sheen to it. So some people use, um, I mean, I like it. Some people don't want it that shiny, their, their art or whatever. So a lot of people will use this, um, or they will use the big top first because it is a little bit sturdier than this, a little more protective. Um, and then they will put this on top of the big top to kind of knock down the shine. All right. Let's see. Hey, Christine. Oh, good, Lydia. Good. I'm always glad to hear when um, stuff arrives <laughs> safely. Oh, I'm so glad, Suzanne. Oh, man. There's like two million without power, I heard. All right, so I'm just going to kind of lay this down. I'm going to off-center it. not done the ironing method. I want to try that. I just do the um, saran wrap. All right, let's see. Is that the leaf I want? I think I blew all my stuff away, y'all. Because I didn't cut that out. Well, here's this one. I had another little leaf. Was it that? I've got this little pumpkin. Oh gosh. Did y'all see where it went? <laughs> y'all see where it blew off to? I guess I could cut out some more. I don't know why I didn't finish cutting this out. This must be it. Let me do that just real quickly. It doesn't have to be perfect because it has a white background. So, um,. If you're new to decoupaging, well, I'm probably not a good one to be given instructions for decoupaging, but I always like to um, paint my background, you know, close to the color that your paper is, or the background of your paper is, I should say, so it'll blend in. Lydia likes the iron method. Do you have one of those cute little crafty irons? I want my other leaf. Well, I just 
learn from decoupage and put, put my papers up before I get my heat gun out. <laughs> uh, hold on, I'm holding that over there. Sorry, y'all. Always use a transfer with these as well. Jesse did a beautiful piece with the pink and orange pumpkin. And then she used the whispering willow flowers. Oh, that's so pretty. And Cheryl, Cheryl stacked her pumpkins. That was cool too. This is just a great, this is a great paper. Oh my gosh, I about just cut this in half. Pay attention, y'all. Sorry. Have y'all decorated your porch or do you decorate your porch? I want to go get some. It's been so hot that I felt like if I got anything, because my porch, my front porch, gets the afternoon sun and it is brutal. It's so hot. Just, ugh. So I can't get stuff too early. It'll die and rot. I'm just gonna put this. You know what? This stuff dries pretty fast, though. I'll just grab my paintbrush. Normally, I try, well, I just keep thinking since I'm, I'm going to put some glass on it that I didn't put enough on the back, probably, but... cleaned off and it just it's just amazing how fast it gets so messy I can't find my brayer oh there it is we had our workshop this week and so still have a bunch of stuff out for that which that went pretty good that was so fun still not too late if you would like to do it just won't be live is all. All right, so I'm gonna put this down over it because I don't know. 
I don't particularly like the wrinkles, so I do try to um, get them out with my brayer. You can also just rub it with your hand and that, you know, that works too. But I take my brayer. Is this the one that works? <laughs> it is not. It needs oiling. All right, so I'm just gonna kinda press over it. <laughs> Carol, you need to post your church um, in in the workshop group. Carol's also a big. If y'all have any <laughs> questions about flowers, you might want to ask her while she's on here. She doesn't kill things like I do. All right, let's see if I'll pull this off without pulling the paper off. All right, I can see I did not put enough paper, I mean enough stuff underneath. I should have, I, know, I knew better than that. All right, I always go back over it, but you know where those pieces are, like right here, where it's not laying down that much, that's where I'm gonna put glass. That is where I will put some glass. Right. Oh, look, maybe I can just pull it down. flew off. Oh, no, that's not it. That's not it. That was my phone number. Oh, my gosh. I'm just, I'm, like, losing it. Where is my paper? <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm getting tickled at myself. And I know it's fresh. I know it's irritating. Y'all don't think it's funny, I'm sure. But I'm just like... <laughs> cray-cray right now. Let's see, what else can I get? Um, what about just some mushrooms? Those are cute. Let me set those down here. And I'll put enough paper on those. This is going to have a lot of glass, so I'm not worried about it. And y'all, my work, my, my workshop, my membership is open right now. Um, so it's Creative Junkies. If you are, you know, if you ever find yourself just a little overwhelmed, not starting, not, you know, because you're confused about what you need or I can help you. <laughs> I can help you. We are all creative. Oh yeah, that's cute. I like that one since it's orange especially. I did like this flower. Could keep it kind of in the same family. Yeah, we'll just go with that. Maybe one more. Um, doohickey. Mushroom. Yeah, this one. Um. <laughs> well, Linda, I 
get on my own nerves when I, I mean, oh my gosh. I try to get so prepared and I just get, you know, I just get so irritated that. But I'm human. I wish I could dry this patina. Um, I mean, I can a little bit, but it won't be. It won't be. Um, those are cute. Okay, I'm going to put those right there. Let me see. Get a smaller. This is um, a lot of the same colors in the Whispering Willow. And so, you know, those, those transfers would look really cute. Yeah, it does much better when you put a, enough patina on the back of it. You know, this dries crystal clear, so it used to be, well, I think it still is, crystal clear, chandelier, I think maybe. Oh, goodness, don't tear it. Are any of y'all football fans? No, Jesse, you are. Did y'all happen to see um, Miami last night? Their quarterback used to play at Alabama, and so, you know, that's the reason I know, but Ralph watches all the games, so I happened to be watching, and man, he had such a bad act. Uh, he was hit really hard, and oh my gosh. So, um, did you see it, Jesse? Hey, hey, Tony. Thank you. Um, so he was sacked, and he went down, and when he came up, Ralph was like, oh my gosh, Joni broke his thumb, look at that, and I was like, what? So I was looking, but he fell, and like, let me put this down for a sec, all of his, his hands just kind of went like this, like they were just like, and I was like, well, it looks like he broke all of his fingers. It was so scary, because nothing ever hit his he never hit his hand on anything, but he hit his head really hard. And so they had neurologists saying that, you know, his fingers did that because it was a severe head trauma. And, you know, oh, my gosh, I just thought for sure he was going to really be seriously injured. But they said it's a concussion and nothing more serious. So that is so good to hear. I, I can't hardly stand to watch football. I mean, I love watching it, but it scares me to death. Scares me to death. I don't think I could, I, I know I couldn't have had boys. I mean, I mean, God didn't give me boys for a reason because I would just, I mean, Allie was so injury prone. She was my athlete. So I had my hands full with her, but it is scary. All right, now where's that other little leaf? Let's see if I can fit that in somewhere. I'm not loving that. I want my other one, and I want my little um, acorn. All right, do y'all mind if I look one more time? Let me just see if I can, where would it have flown? <laughs> it's got to be here. done my other project. I had another project out and now it's looking at me going, mm -hmm. hey, here it is. <laughs> it's behind me. What on earth? <sighs> oh. <laughs> Y'all, I was 
put my glasses on upside down. <laughs> oh my goodness. Y'all, I promise I've not been in anything. I have not done anything. Look, I think I'm just gonna layer that because I don't like how that didn't cut out right. I'm just gonna press it right there. That's good. I'll just put that right there. <laughs> Look at all over there and it's behind me. Just one of those days. together well I've got so much stuff in here it's just it's hiding okay now this I'm disappointed that I didn't put enough stuff on there but okay I like that I love the background like this I may even add a little bit of a different color like some of this um, this would be like mermaid tail. Um, I can't lift that either. So, this is really drying pretty fast. I think I can go ahead and start putting some of this down. See these big, um, oh, you can't see it. I'll hold it up. But they're like 10 pound jugs of glass. And I picked it up by this little handle that's on top of it. Okay, it, no, it's not sturdy. So, yes, I spilled all the glass at my front door. but I will because of the wrinkles. There, that's not bad. And, yeah. These are good, these boards are good because a lot of times when you use glass on canvas, it'll kind of sink down in the middle and then when you do your resin, your resin, you know, your resin is gonna flow with the gravity. And so if it flows, you know, kind of goes down to the middle, it kind of comes off of your sides. So these are, these are good if you're gonna um, use resin. This is, um, well, this looks clear, but it's actually got a gray tint to it, but it is uh, that one at the end, I think. So 
like a little puzzle. Over here, Ralphie's home. Surprised he didn't call. He usually calls. I guess if you don't answer, well, you know, enough he to stop that. <laughs> you know, I do a video around four. So who is who has never resined before? Oh, look at that! That's a perfect little rounded piece. Um, where did you find the big jug? These came from. Um, hey Denise, these came from their celest celestial. Let me. Let me. I'll, I'll hold it up in just a second. I'm actually I actually got all these so I could sell them if you know because. A lot of times you can't find them. Sometimes you can, like in the small, like a one pound. Uh, and this is a, the quarter inch glass, which is my favorite. It's not too little, it's not too big. I just don't, I hadn't put it on my website yet to sell. There's also uh, barbecue guys. Dot com. They used to sell a lot by the one pound, but they really haven't anymore. See, so yeah, I'm just kind of fitting the pieces. I just make, you know, just let them fit together. Wanted, um, I wanted to do that other pumpkin and use green, but I didn't, um, didn't have good green. drop them all. <laughs> the rate I'm going. Um, can y'all see this? So it's Celestial Fire Glass. Um, and I've got blue, I've got black, I've got uh, two shades of blue. I think I've did they have this copper? This is one of my favorites. I got this one too. That's um, it's called and it's nice too. I was gonna mix it. It's called Platinum Moonlight. It's actually um, see how this one's really gold. This one's just kind of a sh gold tint. So it's real pretty. Actually, since I covered all that up, you could use any color. This looks good kind of going up on this shade now that I've dropped it all in there, but it's, it's okay. Put some right in there. I am turning mine over, you know, for the, re the regular color. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Now, like when I do the churches, um, I just drop them and let them do their thing. Because I love that reflective glass. I should just do that here. It would look pretty. I don't know why I'm not. But... Let change it to this color though. It's 
my prerogative. <laughs> I can change my mind if I want to. And I do have a little bit, oh shoot, I didn't bring it over here. I do have a little bit of this aqua color. So I may just mix that in there too. And then when you um, add resin, all these imperfections kind of disappear. That's it, y'all. I'm just going to play around with some of this. I don't want to cover the entire pumpkin, although it looks like I want to, doesn't it? Oh, this is sticking there. Be careful, I don't want to tear the paper. This is just stuff you have to play with because there's no rhyme or reason. Um, you just kind of want to spread it out is all and get it kind of go back and just make it haphazard. Add a little bit more of this. Just kind of mix it. I wish I had some orange. Now look, you can buy, have, have any of you ever bought the Krylon glass uh, spray paint? You can actually spray your clear glass uh, with any color. I've not done that, but I'm gonna I'm gonna look for some Krylon glass. I'd love to find orange and paint my clear glass orange. Wouldn't that be pretty on the and and pink and mix the orange and pink on this one? That would be just gorgeous. Has has anybody done that? I will do the resin. Um, I will do it. I'll come back and do the resin. I don't have it mixed up and uh, Ralph is home and he wanted to go eat somewhere. But I will. I'm going to come back um, tomorrow. But I'll send a text. It may be tomorrow. It may be Friday. I mean, Sunday. Sorry. Y'all forgive me. I'm just a battle axe right now for some reason. Y'all ever heard that battle axe? I don't know, but I think I may have made, made that word up <laughs> about myself. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? Um, yeah, I like these two mixed right here, these two colors. That's, although, look how good that fit. It just fits so easily, but it's coming off. It's coming off. <laughs> these just look too good yeah I'm gonna have to go back with these I will be using of course the, the epoxy resin um, which is the clear clear coat Um, and it's easy. Hey, Martha, North Carolina. Yeah. So how is it? North, what part of North Carolina are you in? Um, <laughs> I have some friends that live in Flagler beach, which, uh, I think it's like an hour from Orlando and so you just getting a lot of rain and what about South Carolina, Jesse? Is it just north? You have heard Battle Axe, Tony. You've heard it. Okay. Hey, Jeannie. Um, Rhonda. Okay. I will 
we'll get some, um, what, Jesse? I have all the colored paint. Cryline glass paint has gone out of business. Are you kidding me? And you bought it all, I'm <laughs> sure. All right, everybody's going to be shopping from Jesse's, uh, Jesse's going to have to open up a website or, or something because she buys in bulk. <laughs> Are you serious? I saw some at, you talking about all of Krylon or just the glass spray? I saw some spray at Walmart, but it wasn't like the glass spray. So I thought, oh no. Well, look, that looks good right there. Maybe this way. Yep, perfect. This is fun, y'all. I could do this for a while. So you have orange and hot pink and that's right, I forgot, you do a lot of glass. You're probably cringing over here at me. That's not laying down good. All right, that's just doesn't have color on it. All right, well, you don't have to sit here and watch me do all this again. I'll just uh, come back. I will come back when I start to resin. It's not fitting as good as that silver one, but I'll get it. I'll get it. Um, let's see, what color you say, Rhonda? Platinum Moon? Is that what this was? Moonlight. Yeah, Platinum Moonlight. That's right. It is pretty. It's just a really soft, like, just a hint of gold. Um, yes, okay, Jeannie has used it. All right. And it's a spray. Are you sure it's hot? Okay, now I'm, because mm, I really wanted to spray some orange and pink. Will you share, Jesse? <laughs> no, no paint to spare. I don't blame you if it's out of business. You know you want to keep, somebody's got to do it though, right? Okay, I'll tell you what, There, there's other glass paint, but you might just have to put it in a sprayer, right? That's, um, that's an option. I know there's some glass paint. I need to put that one down. I keep picking it up. Jesse's the glass expert. She'll have to tell us where to find some paint. Looks better than the silver did, I think. Much better. I love that. I love it, I love it. I want some more of it. You know, that might be the music whenever I start doing that, that Facebook thinks I have music playing or something weird. Because they, they, I get notifications that they have silenced my videos. And I don't know what I've done. There, I just need a little sliver in here. This probably looks good. All right, y'all, well, I will come back and do the resin and maybe see if I need to add anything else. So far, I think I like it. I may have too much going on here, but 
right now I like it. <laughs> um, all right, let's see. Hobby Lobby will have plenty of, oh, that's right. They, well, Jesse thinks Krylon has gone out of business. So, everybody start looking. Okay, let's find it. Let's get it. All right, y'all. Y'all have a good weekend. I'll see you. I'll see you one day. Tomorrow, Sunday. And we will resin this baby. All right? <laughs>